Religion is an unforgiving form, as I've demonstrated a little tonight. It, at its best, is full of exciting spontaneity, and at its worst, well, the worst is frankly difficult to put into words. And Australian top model contest we're about to show you provides the latest graphic reminder of what can go wrong. But that is just the tip of the iceberg. And for Nick Watt, it's all a sign of the time. And Australia's next top model for 2010 is... Ooh, the tension. I think I'm gonna wee myself. Someone's saying something in her ear. It must be the winner's name. It's you, Kelsey. <laughs> Hold on. There's been a terrible mistake. Oh my god. I don't know what to say right now. I'm so sorry about this. Oh my god. This is not, this was a complete accident. I'm so sorry. It's Amanda. I'm so sorry. It was fed to me wrong. Kelsey had victory snatched from her delicate alabaster fingers. It's okay. Oh it's an honest mistake. It's fine. In the end, they gave both girls a cash prize and a trip to New York, so everything's okay. But live TV is a minefield. Any moment now, someone could walk behind me dragging a vacuum cleaner. Things do go wrong. Here's a quick world tour of some of the worst mistakes. And we'll begin our tour from South Africa. Tour. Did you hear that crack? Um, and go through... The, he keeps talking. He's uh, going to be presented to the public. Looks like he's clenching. Uh, the opportunity for proper engagement is actually after the taking of the... Prison. So what does this all mean for the industry and the growth of music online? Well, Guy Cuny is the editor of the technology website uh, News Wireless. No, he's not. Hello, good morning. I'm very surprised to see this verdict... Uh, to come on me? Sure was. He's just some guy who was waiting in the BBC lobby for a job interview when he was collared by a frazzled producer. He does very well. Iraq. Wind. Comb over. Bad combo. USA. Recent polls have shown a fifth of Americans can't locate the US on a world map. Why do you think this is? For the title of Miss Teen USA 2007? I believe that US Americans are unable to do so because uh, some uh, people out there in our nation don't have maps. Iran. Britain. As never before. John Pienaar, BBC News, Cardiff. And John Pienaar, Pienaar joins us now. Iran. <laughs> Indonesia. <laughs> That's me, by the way. <laughs> Romania. A smiling politician on a chat show ain't smiling for long. Kashmir, rage on the streets. Oopsie daisy. Sweden. <laughs> Meatballs for lunch? <laughs> and come on. It's okay. Australia, just one more time. This is what happens when you have live TV, folks. I'm so sorry. And I'm Nick Watt for Nightline in London. It happens, thanks to Nick Watt for that report. When we come back, the new modern family. That's the subject of tonight's closing argument. First, here's Jimmy Kimmel with what's coming up next on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Jimmy? Thanks, Terry. Tonight, Joel McHale, Busy Phillips, and music from Sharon Jones and the Dap Kings. This is going to be the best national coffee day yet. Jimmy Kimmel Live is next. ABC's Grey's Anatomy, all new Thursday at 9, 8 central on ABC. I've been in Washington for only a year. And what's Bennett done? He voted to gut Medicare, jeopardizing benefits for over 200,000 Colorado seniors. Bennett's scheme will raise premiums for hard-hit families. Bennett even raised taxes, $525 billion, a jobs killer. Gutting Medicare, hurting seniors, killing jobs. Because I'm listening to Colorado. Oh, really? The National Republican Senatorial Committee is responsible for the content of this ad. Ryan Frazier says one thing, but does another. He claims jobs are his priority. Yet Frazier pledged to protect tax breaks for companies that outsource jobs. And Frazier's company, Takara Systems, boasts about helping outsource American jobs overseas. Ryan Frazier is costing us jobs. Ed Perlmutter voted to crack down on companies that ship jobs overseas. Creating jobs in Colorado is my number one priority. I'm Ed Perlmutter, and I approve this message. 
Michael Bennett was a deciding vote on Obamacare. We desperately need to do health care reform. Bennett promised his reform would save costs and reduce the deficit. Instead, we got tax increases, billions in Medicare cuts, and record deficits. Today, health insurers are raising rates, medical spending is skyrocketing, and even Obama recently said he knew it was going to increase our costs. Michael Bennett, his mistakes costing us money. American Crossroads is responsible for the content of this advertising. The Call 7 Investigators, winners of four Emmy Awards. Millions of Americans practice their faith in churches and in temples, and millions more practice their faith in mosques. So what do you know about Islam, about American Muslims, about what they believe, what they want? What about the women, the veil, their marriages? And what about radicals and terrorists who claim to be acting for Islam? Well, this Friday night, Diane Sawyer goes in search of answers. Islam, questions and answers. Diane Sawyer reporting, a special 2020, Friday at 10, 9 central on ABC. That means it's time now for tonight's closing argument. Advances in science and shifting social mores are producing a whole new kind of modern family. Tonight we visited the surrogacy agency that helps gay men become biological dads. But that's just one permutation in this brave new world of love, marriage, and procreation. So we wanted to ask you tonight, is there a limit for you to what makes a family? After too many donors or too many laboratory steps, do you think the basic fabric comes apart, or are these modern families just a logical next step in what family means? Tell us what you think at the Nightline Facebook page or on the Nightline page at abcnews.com. But that is our report for tonight. I'm Terry Moran. For Cynthia McFadden and Bill Weir and all of us at ABC News, good night, everyone.